Answering the question, where are you from, has always given me anxiety. There are a couple answers, and I'm not really ever sure which is the right one. I'm from a small town in Cuba, and I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm a derivative of two people who left everything they knew for a chance that I would do better. I'm from the limbo stage, where all immigrants' bodies linger after leaving, escaping, abandoning the land that gave birth to them. I carry Matanzas, Baradero, La Habana, and put for sale my back everywhere I go. I'm from an island of African roots, brown skin, salsa and sun, crystal clear waters, white sands, and the best cafecito you could ever have, seriously. <laughs> I'm constantly learning to be from somewhere else while retaining where I'm from. I waited until senior year of high school so I could tell my parents that I was bisexual. I waited until I had an acceptance letter from a university, until I had a scholarship, until I had the certainty that I was gonna have a roof over my head if everything went horribly wrong. It didn't go horribly wrong. It didn't go. I told them, and just like if I had spoken words into a vacuum, my parents pretended that the conversation never happened. I heard them crying all night long. At home, my sister is my only ally. But when I told her that I was planning on telling our parents again, she answered with, why do you want to tear a family apart like this? I can't even, even begin of thinking of telling them that I identify as non-binary. Home was and is no longer a place where all of me is welcome. That's when point came along. A speaker from our and I, Mel, told me not too long ago that shows and family is key. I'm so grateful for Point and the family that I now get to call my own. The first people that I talked to about my girlfriend were Point scholars. We were at dinner. <laughs> we were at dinner uh, for the Re uh, Regional Leadership Conference and Leadership Symposium in Los Angeles. And I knew this girl was special, right? And I really wanted to share that with someone. But I wasn't allowed to talk about her at home. So picture me. I'm at dinner. I'm nervous. I'm terrified. I'm falling hard. <laughs> and I move closer to my fellow scholar, Grandpa Witt, who we call that because he's the oldest among us. And I tell him that I'm dating someone. He immediately asks, who's the lucky one? So I tell the story how Kira and I met. I show pictures of her. And suddenly the rest of the scholars are joining the conversation and they are so happy for me. They're bubbling over with questions and curiosity. How long have you been together? Who asked who out first? Valentine's Day is coming up and why are you getting her? <laughs> it was the kind of family conversation I always dream of having when I met someone special. Quick update. I'm still struggling quite a bit with my family, but we're getting there. I have been dating the same wonderful girl for two years and a half. She's in the audience tonight. Say hi. <laughs> I bought Wit a Duke Grandpa t-shirt. Um, we're not telling him, it's for his birthday, okay, so shh. <laughs> Answering where you're from it still makes me nervous. But my past has prepared me for it. I'm from an immigrant family that has given everything and more for me to be here tonight. I'm from my very friendly and very gay Point Foundation family. <laughs> I'm from Duke University and everything that comes along with it. I'm from that limbo space that I told you about. From the salsa and the sun, from the bi flag and the menswear section. <laughs> from where I've been and where I'm headed. And speaking of where I'm headed, how about instead of asking me, where are you from? Ask me, where are you going? I promise you. I promise you the answer will be incredible. Thank you.